Hey, how's it going? I'm the Card Sharp. Thanks for tuning in to a new episode of Quick Play. Today, we're going to be playing a game called Escape the Clinic. This is a first-person puzzle horror game that takes place in a haunted clinic. We have to get out of the clinic by solving all of the puzzles that we come across. This is a free game on Steam. I downloaded this sometime in 2020. I completely forgot about it until recently when I was going through all of my games. So we're going to see what this is all about. Before we begin, please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe for more of these quick play episodes. Those are the two simplest and quickest way that you can support my growth here on YouTube. All right, guys, don't forget your masks. Let's get to the clinic. Wake up. Well, what happens when we click back? Well, we just go back to the main menu. So why even give us the option of waking up? I mean, if we don't wake up, obviously we're not going to be able to play the game. All right. Promising so far. Press control to crouch. Okay. <clears throat> Examine items by pressing Q. Will do. Okay. We are in an office, it looks like. Oh, hi. Hello. Okay, so right mouse button is zoom. What are you doing on the ledge? Well, that's dangerous. Why even have a ledge here with gaps in the railing? And those plants on the railing don't even make sense. How are they even on the railing? Okay, well, this is already not a good sign. Not a good sign. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, let's turn on the lights. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I'm assuming this is a doctor's office. That's exactly what it looks like. Still don't know what you're doing out there, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll figure that out. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me go outside. Oh, we're locked. Now, why would you lock yourself in your office? Okay. I, I wanted to turn on my computer, but then I wanted to go outside to see if I can go help her but all right whatever let's see control what is this oh it's a key there we go yeah let's go and take it oh it's a drawer key let's read this I hope you slept well after last night we are still waiting on you see you after you are done at the office can't wait to spend a big day with you Okay. All right. Oh, it must be a love note because you've got the Valentine's card and the candy here. What is that thumping noise? Okay. She's still out there. Um, I don't suppose the key's going to work on a, you know, because it's a drawer key. Oh, here you go. <clears throat> what you need is where you would keep the best whiskey surrounded by dead wood underneath the pages okay what you need is where you would keep the best whiskey where would you keep best whiskey I don't drink I guess in a cabinet surrounded by dead wood underneath the pages I don't know what that means anything in the back I think. Maybe the books have something? No. We can pick them up, but I don't think they are important. Okay. Let me see if... Let me open this. No. Nope. That's jammed. Okay, let's read this again. What you need is where you would keep the best whiskey. So let's just say in a drawer or cabinet. Surrounded by dead wood. Underneath the pages. Surrounded by dead wood. We can't open this. There's nothing coming up at the cursor. Oh! Oh, I see. Maybe the... Oh, 
that's what it's probably referring to. Dead wood would be the paper. Because, you know, paper's made out of trees. Oh, okay, so maybe one of these books is a false book. You know, the kind that you pull out and something comes out or a door opens. Okay. <clears throat> Well, nothing so far. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a key. Got it. Nice. Holy shist. That is a fat key. That is the thickest, fattest key I've ever seen. Okay, whatever. I see. Underneath the pages. Okay, all right. I'm assuming this is the key to this door. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's gone. Yo, tell me she didn't jump. She probably jumped. Oh, here we go. Oh, I need the balcony key. Okay. Let's leave that for now. Here, let's turn this on. I'm going to turn on all of the lights. There's no need for us to be in the dark. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Need to enter code, okay. Yo, that music is creeping me out. Okay, that's an examining room. Anything on the chairs? Another examining room. Okay. All right. Got blood samples here. Tutono? What is that? I don't know what that means. Okay. Well, there's nothing in the rooms, so... Let's go downstairs. It's a waiting room. Let's see if there are any lights here. That music is really creeping me out. Here we go. The more lights, the merrier, right? As they say, the more the merrier. Okay, a key card. This must be the key card pad. So we need a code and a key card. A code for a door? You know I always loved flowers, especially pink ones. Same floor as the door. Each room in order. Each bundle a number. Okay, so this is the clue for the door upstairs with the code, the keypad code. You know I always loved flowers, especially pink ones. There were flowers in the examining rooms. Same floor as the door, so that must be the one upstairs. Each room in order, each bundle a number. I think I get it. So there's three rooms. Is this a three digit code? Okay, I totally did not mean to put 666. 
that was just the first number that the cursor landed on. Okay, so... I don't know which order it goes into, whether it's from here to there to there. But it said each bundle is a number and she likes the pink flowers. So I think we're supposed to count the number of flowers in each room. One, two, three. That music is creeping me out. One, two, three. And then there's one in here. So three, three, one. Three, three, one. Or maybe one, three, three. One, three, three. Three one three. Three one three won't make any sense because it's not in order. Are there room numbers? There are not. There's usually in doctors' offices or clinics there are room numbers for the exam rooms. Okay. Hold on. There's nothing in the trash. Can we open these? What about this? No. Can we move this? No. So, three. Three flowers. No room number, no flowers. Nothing in the trash. Okay, at least the music stopped. But I still hear that thumping noise. Can't open that. Oh, here we go. Four. Can we open this? No. Ah, you cheeky bugger. So four, three, four. Can we open any of these? No. Oh, fucking shit! Damn, that got me. That got me real good. Holy moly. Why don't we just keep that close for now? I saw this note. <sighs> Would you even remember my name if I told you? Would you recognize my face? I don't even know your first name, just your title, yet here I am. It sound like lyrics to a song. Oops. So I just want to make sure my video is actually recording. Okay. Sometimes Elgato just messes up. Um, you know, I think... I think this is about a lost love. Would you even remember my name if I told you? Would you recognize my face? I don't even know your first name, just your title. Or... It could be about a love triangle. I'm assuming a guy is cheating on his wife with somebody and that somebody was the one who wrote this note. It's like, would you even remember my name if I told you? Would you recognize my face? So like a one night stand. She's like the side hoe. I don't even know your first name, just your title, which probably would be a doctor. Yet here I am. Okay. Um, so there's only one flower in here. So it could be one, four. Oh, one, four, three. One, four, three. I love you. I, one, love, four, four letters. You, three letters. One, four, three. Um, one, four, three. Three, four, one. 
Maybe it's the other way around. Yeah. It is. But that was a good connection, though. One, four, three. I love you. I know that because I used to say that to my to one of my exes in high school. Stupid. All right. Can we open this? Yeah. Main switch. Oh, I thought the power was already on. Okay, I know there's going to be a jump scare. I know it. Oh, hi. There you are. Whoa, you lost a lot of blood, homie. You you need a blood transfusion stat. You have lost a lot of blood. You shouldn't be standing. You need to go to an ER. Oh! Yeah, you need to go to an ER. Good. He went to an ER. Damn. Okay. That's crazy. Oh shit! She was waiting for the doctor. That's typical. Every time I try to go close to a girl, they disappear. Shit, that... <laughs> That got me, too. Okay. Here, let's turn this on. Can we turn the computer on? No. We still need the key card, yeah. Okay. Filing cabinets. No. Can't open them. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought this I thought that was blood. What is that? Oh, that's it. That's the key card. I see it. It says security on it. Can we Oh, we can jump. There we go. Oh no. Oh, come on. It's right there. You can't... You hit your head on there, and you can't get the card? Oh, my goodness. You gotta be shitting me. It doesn't take a doctor to, to, take, to reach that. Wow. Okay. Whatever. Here we go. Q. Padlock. Oh, okay. Let's try one, four, three. No. Um, what was it? Three, three, four, one? Yeah, three, four, one. Three. I think it was, yeah, it was already on four. My bad. Three, four, one. Nope, that didn't work. Crap. You were always a fan of number games. I hated them. Tens is five more than ones. Hundreds is eight less than tens. Wait, what? Tens is five more than ones. Hundreds is eight less than tens. I hate math. I suck at math so bad. All right, wait. Tens is five more than ones. So this is... This has to be the co or uh, the clue to this. Huh. Oh, hold on. Tens is five more than ones. Hundreds is eight less than tens. 
Oh, I see. I think the tens, the ones, and the hundreds is referring to the place value. Like ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, so forth and so on. So ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, so let's read this. Tens is five more than ones. Meaning the first number, uh, no. Tens, which is the second number, the second number is five more than the ones, or the first number. So, this would be the tens is five more than the ones. This would be one, oops. Okay. Hundreds is eight less than tens. Hundreds is eight less than tens. No, that doesn't make sense because nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, it, it, it doesn't go all the way up to 14. It only goes up to nine. The hundreds is three more than the tens. Unless... Oh, unless I'm mixing up the, the ones and the hundreds. Because I'm assuming that the top number is ones. The middle is tens, obviously. And the bottom number is hundreds. I think maybe the ones and the hundreds are switched. So if hundreds, the top number, is eight less than tens, the second number, that means the top number is one, the middle number is nine. And if tens is five more than ones, the second number is five more than the bottom number. And if the second number is nine, so nine minus five is four. So then the code is one, nine, four. One, nine, four. Ah, got it. So I just had my ones and hundreds uh, switched. Oh, I get it. You turn on the valve and the water pushes it out. I gotta hold it down. <clears throat> really? All that? I mean, you seriously could have just jumped. Examine. Security card. High level. Ooh. You, you normal. Oh, sorry. You normally wouldn't have a high-level security card for a clinic, especially a clinic this small. What? What? What was that for? Wait, am I supposed to turn this off? No. Oh, yeah. No. Screw it. Just want to make sure nobody's here. There we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, I... Okay, I get what this is. This is, um... The room where you keep the... Um... The medications. It's a medication room. This is where you, you know, find the, uh... Antibiotics, narcotics... Stuff like that. I, okay. Yeah, we had something like that when I used to work in an internal medicine office. Salivin. Curla X. Curla X is pseudorific. Pillowfran. I, I, I think those are all made up because I, I, those don't uh, sound familiar to me. Oh, wow. Okay. Use? Use what? Oh, that closes it. 
bunch of syringes. Oh, there's a key. Ah. Examine a drawer key. So, do we... That's jammed. Oh, this must be the key to the drawer upstairs in the office. At least, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Oh, fuck! I'm just gonna keep this closed. Screw that. Screw that. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Let's go slowly. Go slowly. Back out here. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? I did not like the way she walked. Did you see that? I, I can't explain the way she was walking. It was like... Shaky. Not like... Like Parkinson shaky, but just... Just not smooth. Okay. Let me just check to see if none of these are... Interactable, no? It must be this yeah this one. Oh, a gun yeah okay <laughs> I don't think we should be doing that but you know this is just a game my greatest mistake so are we a ghost and we committed suicide A recent newspaper clipping password is our big day. Well, that's the picture of the of the uh, floor downstairs. Oh, I'm just gonna read um, the article here. Scene outside the office. Two bodies have been recovered at a local health clinic after what appears to be a grisly double shooting. The two victims are women, appear to be in their mid-twenties. No names have been released yet. Authorities on scene say that it appears the struggle started in the hallway outside one of the observation rooms and ended inside by one of the windows. One of the victims was confirmed as having been a patient at the clinic, no word yet on the other woman. The clinic will be shut down an unknown amount of time. The scene is under investigation. Authorities claim the shooting is unrelated to the recent something and missing persons cases in the city surrounding areas. The clinic is ran by Dr. Carl Johnson, who is currently missing. Investigators ask that if you have any information uh, of Johnson or his whereabouts, contact. Okay. Huh. Two bodies recovered at local health clinic. So I'm guessing that the doctor killed the two women with the gun. Oh, we've got another code. Oh, wait a minute. Password is big is our big day. Maybe 214. Valentine's Day. 214. 214. Yeah. Another key. Ah, the balcony key. I wish you could lean. Okay. Oh, fuck! Jeez! Okay. 
I know it said horror in the description, but I didn't think it was going to be just jump scares. That's why I didn't have my heart rate monitor. Also because I'm pretty lazy. I don't want to wear my heart rate monitor right now. What? What? Hey, what the fuck? Jump. Oh! Jump. No, I'm not gonna jump. jump. Oh, shit! Oh, the two women! I got it. Jump. Yeah, they're the ones I killed. Jump. Jump. She was the one who I probably struggled with in the jump. second jump. floor. Well, see, this doesn't even make sense. How is this on here? They're both telling me to jump. I don't think the game is going to end until I jump. Well, I deserve it. I shot them to death, so if I'm going to go, might as well go with a cannonball. Odd set. I like how he made a sound when he hit the ground, which technically is impossible because the moment you hit the ground from that height, you're dead automatically. I mean, you're instant death, so you shouldn't make any sound. Okay. That's Escape the Clinic. I, I actually liked it. I liked the puzzles. Um, they were pretty challenging. I'd rate them, uh, I'd say, 4 or 5 out of 10. Um... I thought I was going to have a hard time with that code with the padlock, not the 214 one, but the first padlock because math is just not my strong point, but uh, surprisingly we, we, uh, we figured it out. If you guys would like to try this, just head on over to Steam Search Escape the Clinic. It's free or you can click the link in my description. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. It means a lot. I love the support. As again, please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!